I love beach vacations and I love finding shells on the beach. But what do you do with them when you bring them home? So if you're looking for an easy project to make with your seashells that you bring home, even the broken ones, I want to show you this project. Buds, Shannon here. You guys may have recently saw our travel vacation vlog that I did, the first one I ever did, um, and I took you guys to Sanibel with us. And I love Sanibel Island. It is such a relaxing and peaceful place, but one of the best parts about Sanibel is all of the seashells on the beach. It's amazing how many seashells are on that beach. Go back and watch that video if you want to see more about the island. But guys, free craft supplies alert. Free craft supplies. We walked the beach a lot on our trip and we got to pick up a bunch of seashells. And as we were walking, there were tons of shells, all those different traditional shapes, like little fan shapes and little spirally conch shapes. That's the official term I call them. But anyway, yeah, so you can find all kinds of shells, but I kept noticing, and maybe it's just the magpie in me, but I kept noticing these ones that sparkled. They were dark and blackish, purplish, green, and they, they shifted in color and the light, and I love them. And a lot of them were just little broken pieces of shell. So I brought a bunch of them home. I knew I wanted to craft with them. I wasn't quite sure what at the time, but I finally figured it out and I made some beautiful necklaces. So let me show you how easy these were to make. First, gather your supplies. And as always, in my description box below and in my blog post this week, there's a full supply list for your convenience. But basically you'll need a bunch of shells, something to smash them with, a blank jewelry bezel, the appropriate adhesives, and protective gear. This is really important because these shells can be sharp. After you protect yourself and your tabletop, get out that hammer and smash those shells apart. This is my favorite part. Once you have enough small pieces, glue them down to the bottom of your jewelry pendant. Try to keep the pieces flat. You don't want any pieces poking up because it'll be difficult to cover and that could be very sharp and poke you later, which you don't want. I used Mod Podge, but any glue that dries clear is perfect for this step. Once that glue dries, this is my second favorite part. Grab some kind of resin, or I like to use Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. This works kind of like a resin, but it's so much easier to use and not as stinky, and it dries crystal clear. But using the Dimensional Magic, start to pipe it in over top of the shells, being sure to cover all the sharp pointy edges that are sticking up. Start in one area and slowly spread the liquid out. And as you get to the edge, you might want to stop and use a toothpick to help spread anything out and also pop any bubbles. Allow the dimensional magic to dry and it will dry crystal clear like a resin over top of the shells. I made one in gold and silver and I love how the colors shift in the light from purple to green to blue. And with the layers of shells, it almost looks like fish scales or maybe mermaid scales, who knows? Either way, I love the way these turned out, and I love having a little piece of Sanibel around my neck. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe so you don't miss out on any more creative lifestyle ideas on this channel. Thank you so much for watching, stay creative, take care of yourself, and I will see you soon, Rosie Buds.